welcome back welcome back to my channel i am so happy to be back to my channel to shooting a new video and for all of you guys this is the last video of 2020 yay i am so happy because of that guys i'm not going to lie i'm happy because uh, this is my last video of 2020 it doesn't mean that I'm not going to um, do more videos I'm going to still doing more videos in 2021 but this is the last one for this year yes guys but before I tell you guys uh, where what is the topic of this video I'm going to present to you my best friend here in this place I have a best friend yes my best friend is this person is the elephant only look how beautiful is this elephant and it's an elephant very elegant because have a, a tie and a costume and it's very elegant I'm going to hug him yes I hug him I hug the elephant I'm joking guys I'm like a little kid uh, playing with an elephant but it's only a status guys it's only a status that is in here in the park like you see is the park you see is the park and right now I'm here with my friend the elephant because I want to start this video with him and, and right now I'm not in my house I'm not in my beach house, I am in the park because I wanted you guys to know more places of where I am living. You know already my house, well, some part of my house you know already, you know uh, where is my beach house, but I also want you guys to know where is the place I always go when I go to make exercise when i go to run when i go to play with my nieces and nephews and it's these places the park is the place that i usually uh, make my exercise usually uh, play with my nephew and nieces but this time i am alone and like you see the park right now is very lonely it's nobody well there are a little some some person in the park but uh, I am alone right now in the park and I am alone because I was not going to shoot this video and I want to shoot this video in here because it's part of my childhood this park, I go to this park since I, since I was tired I remember that I always go to this park with my sister, with my brothers, with my parents and we always play in this park, we always play in that uh, basketball court and it was amazing and right now, like, and right now that I am grow up I came to this park for running, for making exercise, for, being, for playing with my nieces, for playing with my nephews and well that's why I decided to make these videos in the park and right now guys I'm going to tell you the topic of this interesting video yay I'm so excited guys yes I'm really excited but I'm going to talk to you where is the topic of this video the topic of this video is going to be 2020 yes that is the topic of this video 2020 why because i want you guys to know how was 2020 for me and what are my expectations for the next year 2021 uh, this 2020 is very close to finish uh, right now is december 30 tomorrow is the last day of 2020 and we are going to finish 2020 and we are going to in a start a new year and that's why that is the topic of this video i hope you love it guys and i hope you enjoy it all the things that i'm going to say to you about my 2020 i hope you love it guys and check it out yay
work guys I'm going to start talking about my 2020 but before I mean start talking about the 2020 how was my 2020 I want to present another friends that I have in this park I am joking guys when I'm tell you that I have friends in the park they are only status that are in the park I only say that they are my friends because I'm a crazy person but they are not my friends <laughs> I am only joking with all of you guys but only look these other friends that I have it's a boy but it's a strange boy it's very strange it's very a strange boy only look the face of this boy only look how creepy is this boy the smile the eyes but it's a boy that is working uh, is a very this status is very like a uh, reality very a uh, true rea a true a uh, ugly reality of what is happening in the entire world that kids uh, are working and uh, this is a boy that is working in the park selling candy selling chocolate selling i don't know how much i, how, I don't know what else it is uh, selling because like you see the things that is in is in here are very old i am i'm going to tell you a very in, uh, curious facts this park is is very old to exist i think that this park exists much much before that i was born i have 27 years old and since i was a kid i came to this park and this boy he was in there in here since i was a kid and i think that this park have more than 30 years or 15 years of existed i think more i think like 60 16 years of, of exist this park and this boy is also but uh, i'm going to start talking about my 2020 about uh, how was uh, my 2020 first of all guys i'm going to tell you that i was expecting this 2020 to be more better than was right now uh, i was expecting that this 2020 uh, was a good year why because last year 2029 2019 sorry in 2019 uh, i graduated of my university i graduate i do all the things that i required to do for graduate of university and i finished my uni all the process of graduation in uh, last year in 2019 and in this 2020, uh, I was expecting to have my ceremony of graduation on March. I remember that on on 20, March 20, 27, I was expecting to have my ceremony of graduation. Uh, and also, I was expecting to start working in a, a place of my career. I am a I am a person that I was studying a base, tourism business administration and my dreams my dream was working in some place of tourism of an hotel and a travel agency or a tour operator but unfortunately this year was not what I was expecting and yes I have to tell you the truth guys all the things that was happened with the COVID-19 uh, were it was my uh, uh, first uh, problem that I have of not uh, accomplish what I was expecting in this 2020 but that's uh, it's true guys I'm not going to lie uh, COVID-19 it was one of the reasons why I'm not why I was not doing the thing that i was expecting to do and i only have to be a uh, focus on on the future and what is going to future is going to be in the next year
Well, guys, I don't know if you see me, but I'm going to change uh, the way I'm sitting because right now I am in the soccer court. Like you see how beautiful is this court. You see how beautiful is this court? It's very green and it's very big, the, the court of, of this soccer this soccer court and I think that if I put the camera in here you are not going to see me well because of the sun I'm going to change the way of I am sitting right now I'm sitting right now and well guys right now you are going to see uh, these old things that they used to uh, put in the in the soccer court for practicing because this court they use for little kids to practice soccer and work guys that's other things but i'm going to still continue talking about how was my 2020 well guys first of all and when well in december 2029 in december 2019 uh, i was finished my process of graduation then i start uh, searching for jobs and on january i searched for, for a job in a hotel and i remember that the first week of february they call me of this hotel this hotel uh, i'm not going to say the name because i don't want to, uh, it's i don't want to say a uh, want to say the name of this place because it's not going to and I'm going to uh, put in bad the hotel and that's why I'm not going to say I'm going to uh, be very private in that things but um, yes I was uh, ap applying for um, for the for a, for a job in that hotel in the place of receptionist and they called me the first week of February and they told me that yes, I was qualified for uh, being in that job, for being working like receptionist, but I need training. I need training because I was, I was, I was having zero experience in hotels, zero experience in having a job, and well, I started working in there. Uh, in the receptionist, they train me. They training me to be a good receptionist and when they told me that I'm going to start uh, when they told me that my training is finished uh, they told me that I'm going to start working in the receptionist alone like officially officially working in that place but unfortunately uh, I was competing in that job with another person and the my chief my um the person in charge of my of of my job uh, she told me that they decided to choose the other person to occupy the the job that I was applying that was receptionist and they and they uh, tell me that they don't want to work with me and, and maybe in the future uh, they could call me again for working with them but i don't believe in that things uh, they tell me that they don't want to work with me they pay me the two weeks that i was working in there i only work two weeks with them and well i work with them two weeks they pay me that two weeks that i working with them and that was very sad for me. It was very depressing because it was my first job that I was uh, having, and it was my first time that they quit quitting me, and it was very sad. It was very sad because in that time the COVID-19 it was not a, a big topic in the entire world. It was February, and it was like the last week of. February that they uh, told me that they don't want to work with me anymore and it was very sad but uh, I have to deal with it and I still continue finding jobs bad strokes yeah 
are guys I here I in another places right now I'm here I'm still in the soccer court but in another part of the soccer court and all you only see that that's a part of the tree and the whole court but I'm here because I think that this is a beautiful place to film and right now guys I'm going to still talking about what happened next what happened next uh, when I was a uh, uh, when I was a uh, finish my training job of, of in the hotel because I never work in the hotel I only was in training I only was in training for two weeks in two weeks in that hotel but they pay me and 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 baby and I feel very grateful because they pay me because of that two weeks that I was training in that hotel because I do things in that hotel I do check-ins I do checkouts I do a lot of things in the hotels for the for all the person that they stay in that hotels and that's why they pay me for the two weeks of training but they decided to not contract me uh, officially in the hotel and that's why um, I was again without job and that was in the last the last week of February and I was very depressing like I said and very sad because uh, really I, I expected to uh, still working in that hotel but they they don't want me in that hotel they don't want me and I have to deal with it and still continue applying for other jobs other hotels other travel agency I remember that uh, a week later that they uh, say me goodbye in that hotel uh, I apply in a travel agency and when I apply in that travel agency they call me for a uh, interview with the uh, human resources and I remember that I go to that interview and the person that interviewed me uh, uh, she said that she was very grateful very proud of the interview that I was um, having with her uh, because it was a woman and she was very like proud of all the skills that I have and for her, uh, she uh, wants to uh, contract me in that travel agency. But the decision of contract me is not the choices of her. It's the choices of the uh, the person in charge of her. And that's why they don't contract me because in that time, that was on the first week of March. Uh, in that first week of March, the travel agency became to being very low on on them on the sales because the the COVID-19 began to appear in the entire world. That's true, guys. In March was the month that the COVID-19 appeared in the entire world and began to be a topic, a barrel topic in the entire world. And because of that, I don't, uh, I don't have that job in that travel agency, and well, I have to continue, continue, continue applying for more jobs. I apply for another hotel. I apply in another travel agency. I apply for another jobs in other enterprises, but they never call me. And well, guys, uh, that's all. That's that process of applying for new jobs was the first two weeks of March. Then I'm going to tell you guys that my birth is on March 20. I I born on March 20. That's the day that I born, and that is my birth birthday in March 20. I remember that I could not celebrate my birthday because five days before my birthday. Uh, the president of this country declares quarantine in El Salvador because of the COVID-19. Yes, guys, and uh, that was uh, also a very awful thing. 
why was also a bad thing for me that they put quarantine five days before my birthday that's true guys I my birthday was on March 20 it's in March 20 and five days before they declared quarantine in the entire country that was it, that the president told us in a communicate and uh, communication that they that he have with the country that he declared it that the Salvador is going to be in quarantine since that day since March 15 and my birthday was March 20 that's other things that I feel very bad that I don't celebrate my birthday no I don't celebrate why because we were in quarantine my brothers that don't live with me they could not be with me in my birthday I only celebrate my birthday with the fam with my family that live with me in my house and it was very like simple it was only a very simple food very simple cake because we were in quarantine I could not celebrate like I was like why why wish like I would wish to celebrate because of that and that is a very sad uh, story that I have because I'm going to tell you guys that this is not my first birthday that I don't celebrate it because two years before I don't celebrate my birthday because a lot of things that happen in my family and they always like shock with my birthday and that's why I never celebrate my birthday but well that is a bad history of my life that I have three birthdays that I don't celebrate my 25th birthday my 26th birthday and my 27th birthday I don't celebrate it because a lot of things the first uh, time that I don't celebrate my birthday it was because of uh, emergency of my family the second time that I don't celebrate my birthday is because of an emergency of my family and the third time that I don't celebrate my birthday it was because of COVID-19 because we were in quarantine and well, that passed and because we were in quarantine all the jobs closed because the president told us we were in quarantine all the enterprises are going to close their their locals and all the employer are going to work in the house and if if the enterprise could not work in the house they are going to be in in bank wrapped and that's true guys and many people right now are this, this employee like me I am this employee and many people are like me because of the COVID-19 and the quarantine because many enterprises broke up and broke up their 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 enterprises because they don't have any money and that's why right now for me it's very difficult to find in a job because there are so many people that they don't have jobs that are they also applying for the job that I also apply and that is very difficult because it's a very huge a, a very huge amount of person competing for one job and the the enterprise they, they choose the best the, the best ones and that's why for me it's very difficult right now to find a job and well we were in quarantine that was in March we were in quarantine like two months we passed April in quarantine we passed May in quarantine and then in June I think like in the middle of June uh, they decided that they going to start opening again all the all the enterprises all the malls all the things but they are going to open with a uh, like with with caution that not going to have not going to permit that more than 20 person be in a place in the same time because of the COVID-19 because the COVID-19 was still in the in the in the air and we we couldn't touch right now I have to have my right now I have to have my 
right now uh, like I said it right now I need to have my max put it because the COVID it is still in there and if we don't use this mask we could be contagious of COVID-19 and we have to be very cautious very uh, very uh, careful to don't have COVID and don't make other people to have COVID or make our families to have COVID that's why uh, it's very important to use this but in the whole videos that I'm shooting right now I don't use this max because it's very like for me it's very like oh it's very strange to use this that's why I I like take it take it off but I know that I need to put it on but I think that if I put right now my max in here you are not going to understand me well what I'm saying guys and that's why I'm going to still um, take it off my my max I don't know if you want if you understand me uh, the thing that I say right now with the max that's why I chose to take it off better for continue talking to you guys but this is my max I always having with me and when I go out of my house I always put my max sometimes they I always forget it but my sister my moms and they always remember and I always put it and I always go get out of my house with my mask that's true guys but well guys we were continue talking that in June in the midst in the middle of June they take off the quarantine and they began to uh, open a lot of enterprises a lot of more a lot of things but uh, with cautions and because uh, my graduation was expecting to be on march 27 but because of the quarantine they suspended they eliminated my graduation ceremony because the university cannot do it because of the of the order that the president made, uh, the university told us that they are going to uh, uh, give us our diploma in only in the university with a with with a, with a, we, they are only going to give us the diplomas in the university, but they do not going to. Uh, take back the money that we pay for the ceremony because for the ceremony of graduation we pay uh, um, an amount of money and it's not a little amount of money it was very big amount of money that we pay and university doesn't want to doesn't uh, want to take back that money for us and that's why all my companions that they are going to graduate that they were going to graduate with me in March 27th we were start fighting with the university because we want our money back and that's why uh, we fight uh, like two months April and May we fight with the university because we want our money back and in June the university uh, take a negotiation with us to uh, give us some amount of money they going to give an amount of money but it's not going to be the complete amount of money that we paid for the ceremony and but we are accepted we accepted that they give us that amount of money and that's why on like the last week of june i go to the university to receive my diploma and at the same time to receive the money that they going to give me because we're, we're not going to have the ceremony of graduation. It was very sad. I'm going to tell you guys it was very sad to receive my diploma like very in, in the parking lot of the university. I'm going to show you guys photos of that moment when I received my diploma in the university. I received my diploma in the parking lot of the university. It was very depressing and with my friends that they were graduating that they were graduating with me 
with my friends that with the with my friend that they were graduating with me we uh, like uh, say it. we want to uh, go at the same time to the university to receive our diploma and we go the same day at the same hour to receive our diploma and take a picture in the parking lot receiving our diploma I'm going to show you that photo for all of you guys because it was very depressing uh, receiving my diploma in the parking lot many people receive their diplomas in a very elegant ceremony with um, with the music of the ceremony of the graduation ceremony with all the person with all your family but i received my diploma in the parking lot it was very simple and very sad but that was june i passed it i forget it and well i tell you guys because i'm going to because I am telling you guys why was my 2020 but what that was my 2020 then past July in July I'm still uh, applying for jobs and jobs and jobs and they never called me and they continue in August and in August I am still applying 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 for jobs and they don't call me anyone and then past September, I still applying, 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 applying for jobs, and they don't call me for anyone. And then, then goes October, and in October, I uh, I remember that one month after in September, I applied for an enterprise uh, that that I don't know if I could say the name. I'm not going to say the name because. I'm going to be very private but in September I applied for a job and in October they called me of that enterprises that they like my my resume that they like like all the things that I put in my resume and they want to interview me me first they interview me in telephone and then they make me make an exam in the computer in English because the enterprises is was uh, enterprises that they do all the things in English and I do the exam and then two, we, two days uh, after of that interview in the telephone and the exams they call me again for a uh, term that they want a second interview with me with the hum with the chief of human resources I go to the place, I go to the enterprise, to the locker, I go to the locker in, in where the enterprise is, is like having their jobs, their, their things, and I go to the interview, the human resources, they interview me, and the interview was in English, I was doing so well, but I don't know what happened, and the human resources doesn't like my interview. I think that it was a very good interview because I was all the questions that he was telling me in, in English I uh, responded so well and was very well uh, speaking and uh, I think that I was doing a very great job in that interview but they don't call me uh, the human resources tell me that they going to evaluated my interview with other candidates that also were applying for that job and they're going to choose what are going to be the ones that are going to pass to the next step of the applying of all of the applying and I don't pass the next step and that was happened in October I was very delusional this that disillusioned because I won that job but that was October and I then I still continue applying for jobs and applying 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 for jobs and they never call me and then past November in November I still uh, applying for new jobs and they didn't call me it was a very very disappointed moment in my life that's true guys to apply, apply it and apply it and I never have a job. That's true guys. It's very 
Well, guys, I said that on October uh, I was uh, having that interview in in that enterprises, but I only have two interviews: one in telephone, then I have an exam in English and computer, and then I have an interview with the human resources in in the office of them. But I don't pass for the next step. That was very sad. Like I said it before, I was that was very sad to don't send have a, a third call for the next step. But that's normal. That's a normal life for all the person that are disemployed. For the person that are disemployed like me, it's very normal to like have a call of an enterprise. Uh, have an interview, but doesn't pass to the second step, to the second uh, round of interview of whatever thing that they do. But well, guys, and that was October. Then became November. In November, it was very also very sad because I was still, 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 still uh, applying for jobs, and they don't want it and they don't appear any application. I remember that in November, I still uh, applying for a lot of jobs, a lot of hotels, a lot of enterprises, but in never, never, in never one, in that applying uh, that I do, they call me in November. But in November, I have a good uh, thing that I'm going to tell you guys. On November, uh, I reunited with my friends of university. The friends that I was having going to have the ceremony of graduation, I I decided to reunite it again. Yes, I decided to reunite it again with them in November because this was like one year. No, it was like a five month that we don't see. The last time that we see was when we received the diploma and then we don't see us since November that we plan to uh, see again in a restaurant and eat something and talk about uh, the things that it happened for every one of us and it was a very good moment and November for me it was very good in, th in that. I was applying for many jobs. They don't call me in never one of that application, but I have a good moment with my friends when they when they uh, decided to reunite it and we go to eat. We go to talk again and we we'll talk about like updated about what is all the people's doing in their lives and it was very incredible to have uh, with my friends to um, well, uh, update it and see how well it is, uh, is taking the life to them. And it was very incredible. I was having a good time with all of them in, in that moment. And then November was the same for me. Applying for jobs, applying for jobs, and they didn't call me in any one of that jobs. It was very sad, but it, it was that. That is the truth. And well, November finished and became December, the last month of 2020. Yes, guys, we we uh, we are here in December 2020, and I'm still doesn't have a job. I only make my videos, blogs in YouTube. I only make my reaction videos on YouTube, but I don't have a job. And I need a job. I need to be more independent and warm. I hopefully that in the future, I could find something that is for me, that is for my good, goodness. Oh, well, guys, I cross my finger for this one because I need a job. I need to uh, work, I need to be more independent and help my family. Yes, that's true, guys. Work. Then in December, 
was very interesting. I was still applying, applying, applying for jobs, and that was, and that is my history of this 2020, applying for jobs. But at the same time, I have good things in this December 2020. First of all, because uh, I do the trip with my family in the beach. Uh, the trip was uh, beginning on December 11 and we finished on December 13. It was only three days that we go to the beach and it was incredible. It was the best three days that I have in this year in my in, that I have in this year with my family uh, having that trip on the beach and it was very awesome to see the video that I uploaded uh, like two days before that I uploaded that video of my favorite place that it was the beach that I was going and where we were planning that uh, trip and we made it then uh, then when I was then a uh, before after that trip I have other amazing things that I do in December that was uh, having breakfast with other best friends that I have in university I make some good best friends and some of that best friends that I have in university I planned to reunite it in December and we planned to have a breakfast and we go to breakfast in a restaurant and we pass a very good time in that restaurant. It was very amazing time that I passed with them because it was amazing. I love to pass time with them. They are my best friends. We talk, we talk a lot. Uh, we go to the restaurant like at nine o'clock nine and we spend in that place until 11 or 12 o'clock of the morning it was very it was very interesting the the talk that we were having and it was very amazing it was a very amazing moment that i had with my friends and we planned to have another uh, get, go out with them and we we do it and it was very amazing and then uh, after that moment that i had with my best friends uh, was happening the Christmas and was happening the Christmas Eve and the Christmas and in my family we start the celebration in Christmas Eve December 24 we go to mass we go to my brother house we eat in there we uh, we make the hugs in in the midnight uh, uh, wishing all of us Merry Christmas, uh, open the gifts and all of that. It was a very amazing moment in Christmas. And then in December 25, we only have a lunch in my house. Uh, of uh, We only have a lunch in my house. It was very little, but we only do that. And then in, in December 26, we go out to take a trip and go to eat pupusa that is a typical food in here in Salvador. and that is only my things in 2020 yes guys right now I am planning with my best friend to get out and uh, not in this year because it's impossible we are in December 30 and right tomorrow is the last day of 2020 and we could not get out tomorrow because tomorrow is that day that we pack with our family and we decided to go to go out on Saturday I suppose that we have this plan and I'm going to love it but that's all for this video guys I hope you love it I said to you guys all the things that happened in my 2020 and that's true guys that was my 2020 and what i was expecting that's all the things that i that i do in my 2020 yes guys then guys i'm going to talk about uh, what i expect on 2021 well I know I don't want to expect a lot in 2021 not because I am a negative person I am not a negative person I am a very positive person 
but uh, well, in 2019 I expect a lot in 2020 and no one of that expectation appears and occurs because of the pandemic and we don't know how it's going to be 2021 uh, if the pandemic is going to be still in, in crisis or what. I don't want to expect uh, uh, what is 2020 is going to uh, receive to me. Uh, I only want to have a job. Uh, in 2020, I wish to have um, tomorrow when we celebrated the New Year's Eve, I'm going to wish to have a job, to wish to have an independent life, to wish to have a good health, to wish to have a much more, more connection with my friends, more interaction with them, and to still uh, growing with my life, with my friends, with my family, and still reunited with all of them. And that's only that is the only thing that I expect in 2021. That I have good health, that I have a job, that I still have my family with me, that I still have my friends with me, that we still reunited with them, and that's only that I expect for 2021. Uh, I wish all of you guys a good 2021. I hope you guys that 2020 for all of you were more better than the, than me. Uh, I want to hear you guys. I want to hear your commentary, your opinion about how was 2020 for all of you guys. Please comment below for for all your opinion, for all your commentary about what you think about this 2020. If you have a good 2020 more than me, or if you have a bad 2020 worse than me. It is your choice, guys. You tell me, I'm going to read all your commentary. I'm always grateful to read all your commentary. And please comment below how was your 2020 and also please comment what are your expectations for 2021 i wish all of you guys a very 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 happy new year's eve i wish that this that this new year's eve this 2021 is going to be a best year for everyone not in not only in here in El salvador in the entire world guys because we are in the same planet and I wish for all of you guys the best wishes that I could say to you. The best wishes for the next year, that you have a good year in 2021, a happy new year's Eve, and I see you in 2021 because I'm going to still doing my videos blogs my reaction videos in 2021 i'm not going to stop that and this 2020 was the first year that i decided to make blogs i decided to make reaction videos that is something that i am so grateful that this 2020 i decided to make blogs i decided to make reaction videos and i'm going to still continue doing my blogs and my reaction videos in 2021 is stay tuned for more videos also subscribe to my channel is if you still don't subscribe to my channel i invite you to subscribe to my channel touch the bell for more notification give thumbs up to this video and i love you guys i love you so much i hope you enjoy it, this video i hope you learn more about what was my 2020 and I see you in the next video, guys. For finish this video, guys, I'm going to show you who I am right now. I am with this little duck. Look how cute is this duck. This duck is very cute. Only look how cute is this duck. This duck is accompanying me, like the elephant also accompanied me. This duck also accompanied me in this video. Yay! It's also my friend. The duck is also my friend in this video. Yay! I have three friends. I have the elephant, I have the kids selling candy, and I have this little duck. 
yay well guys this is all for this video i hope you love it i hope you enjoy it i hope you give some up uh, the duck wants some up in this video really this duck that you see one thumbs up to this video and also guys subscribe to my channel